percent win rate on this map, but they have an even lower one on train. So let's not hold the numbers against Heroic. But those Betway odds, they certainly do hold the numbers against Heroic. Seven to the 1.04 of Astralis. Well, certainly favored in this series are Astralis, moving to one of their better maps, if not their best. So let's see what they got in store for us. That banana device goes into the setup, but there are three men here. The grenade follows that kill, but Astralis are a little bit further back, and Yugi's actually going to manage to trade out for one. His teammate dies right after, and Yugi gets out of there with a bomb. The bomb getting seen in Banana will keep Heroic in this double B setup, and that's exactly what Astralis want as they go storming towards the A site. Yes, indeed, Hugo. Nico going to get Molotov out of the pit and looking for these kills. However, he's been betrayed by his little tapping finger. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, Nico. Oh, he's giving what it another go. Hell? He's managed to get the reload off. Really don't know how he stays ace? alive so long. And now Yugi needs to ace it to find the pistol here for us. Oh, dear. Fight. Four of the five kills needed coming from Yugi. But not quite enough. Heroic. They're going to grab the defuse. They're going to lock in the pistol out. And Borup's even rubbing a little bit of salt in the wound. Which, sure, maybe has some antibacterial properties. But that's about it. Other than that, pretty painful, Hugo. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that, Harry. That's not going to be the, uh, the nicest way to start your day. But Yugi, well, he has a great round here. Some excellent entries. And uh, almost closes out the pistol with an ace clutch. That would have been a nice start. Certainly a debut. But it is denied. And and Yugi's four kills go in vain. But they will at least give him a little money, Harry. And with that money, it's a big investment. AKs in the second, three of them for Astralis. Heroic still going to be through, full of utility and throwing it down Banana has put Magis in quite the spot. He is burning, he's blind, and he's going to get broken through the smoke as well. That's an AK gifted over if Stalin does please. Of course, he doesn't know it's in play, so he doesn't want to drop his gun in the middle of a smoke, but the, uh, the, will avoid it. The grenade actually blew it back up oh. towards Top Banana, hilariously, so it's that much more retrievable. Or actually, wait, did it blow it down, Banana? I just saw the AK get blown away, and I think, yeah, it's found its way into the hands of Device. So, ah. actually, wrong direction on that nade. Oh, Yugi got cut off by the molly he pushes, but Heroic actually timed their Molotov really well there, so he can't get traded, and that's left Astralis in this awkward oh. man disadvantage situation. It will be a burn. Stown gets uh, roasted in this round, but Dupree's now left with, or Vice rather, left with no health and a one on three. Not really going to be holding out for this one, are we? Oh, uh, huh. he knows, he knows, and you don't want Device to know. Because not giving him anything, an arm nor a leg, and a bit of damage, but Nico should back off after that tag. And with a flank in middle, device is trapped. Oh, he could go B. Oh, yes. Look at him go. The device that could. 1v3, and Tessa's rather is already here at the top of Banana. Device, will he be ready? For a man tucked in this cubby, because if he doesn't anticipate it, if he doesn't check Ooh, it... Oh, the classic. Oh, he's got himself a little smoke here, though, and he's dropped that down. This is going to... Oh, yeah, a little bit anxious there. Swings into the uh, the gunfire. Those bullets, surprisingly, not where you want to find yourself, in the gunfire. Tessas is going to keep these AKs in play. He's trying to put one in the hand of his teammate, a banana. And so now, you know, if you're heroic, not only do you get this conversion, you get three players upgraded onto AKs. You keep it pretty clean. You shut down that attempted force from Astralis, and you set yourself up brilliantly to get off to a good start here on Inferno. Yeah, undoubtedly. Um, Astralis, they can't really fall by here. We just dig them deeper in this hole, so it's going to have to be pistol armor as Heroic likely take a 3-0 lead. But this shouldn't come as all too much of a surprise, right? This is a great map for Astralis, but we know Heroic uh, certainly you know, showed us something back on train, and that CT side is going to be where they feel comfortable. Hadian's crossed in the apps, but that was spotted by players in ult, so Zipex should be ready for a stairway push, but Cadian's beat him on the timing. That's so close. Zipex going round. He's going to check it, but not fully. And, I mean, can you blame him? Cadian is here. An excellent timing, and he walks the entire way as well, so Zipex can't hear him. Luckily enough, 
kill going the way of Stan. Kadian doesn't take that frag in mid. He wants more. He wants a multi kill and he might get it as well. A resmoke needs to be found, but there's no one here to throw it. So Astralis are actually walking through mid. Kadian, he should spot them, but he might just miss the killing shot, the killing blow. Oh dear, this is not the gun for range, but luckily no armor. He gets away with one, but that's not worth it at all. Yugi's going to trade. Luckily, Heroic is fully in control of this round, and Dupree's been dropped up on the archway as well. So one by one, these pistols should get ridded of this round. And the bomb dropped in middle. It's just uh, Zipex left alone. Yeah, I'm with a uh, Tech 9 and a Dream here. Here's Mr. Zipex. And he has caught himself a timing into the B bomb site. This is a very interesting round because Stout had pushed all the way down ramp. And, and I don't think he's entirely realized the error of his ways. He heard the footsteps of Zipex going past. So he has already called for this rotation. But that's a bomb plant for Astralis. A bomb plant that they, they shouldn't have found, honestly. I don't really know how that one gets given away. Zipex just catches the most phenomenal timing up through Banana. And, you know, this is going to leave you with a fantastic first buy on the Astralis side. You get to have these orbs in play if you would like. Oh, you said that plural, Harry. Careful, mate. Careful. It's T-side of no, no, yeah, 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 down. Yeah. Orbs, just, you know, in general as yeah. like a word. They will could be here, but they're not going to be here. Astralis electing to just run rifles. And I was kind of curious, right? Like with Yuki and Device both in the team, was there maybe going to be a more present AWP here on the T side, like more reoccurring? Um, but no, I guess I get my answer pretty quickly. No is the answer. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not like Yugi's bringing such a level that Astralis are, are desperate for him. Like, like, we need Yugi to orb. Like, device is better, and, and that's why he's mainly orbing over. So, I don't think the frequency would change, apart from when we see the double orb. But, ooh, that's quite a lineup. Tessas getting two, dropping off the car side. He gets pushed back by the Molotov, but will remain inside of the site. And Astralis can't get this plant in with him here. So, device trying to come up long has been flashed off, and we'll have to use some utility to stay alive. Heroica really trying to push that kill. Tessas is still here. The resmoke's come down for his team, and that's even better. He's brought him more time in the site, but oh, he's making a lot of noise. The Molotov actually burns him out. That's a CT Molly as well, landing in the smoke. Tess is firing off, but he wanted to buy so much more time there. He wanted to stay alive even longer, but couldn't really with everything that was going on with the fact that Astralis knew he was there. They will eventually get that plant in. Some damage through the smoke traded by device, and now Astralis trying to hold on to a two on three. I don't know just how many players actually lie alongside. Magisk is going to flash himself in over at short and starts to go aggressive. Ooh. Device now responsible for this entire long nice. portion of the map. And Kadian, well, just pluck him from the round. Magisk is a hard spot to be in. They double peak at two different levels of elevation. That's a terrifying turn of phrase if you're a man like Magisk there in that 1v3. And so Heroic continuing to put up a strong CT side right now. 4-0. Another bomb plant for Astralis combined with the loss bonus maxing on out there. Does mean a buy is available here to Astralis once again. They're going to have these AKs out in full force. Still looking to bring the heat. Still looking to keep this one competitive. But there is no ignoring that this is a good style from Heroic. And it could continue in this fashion. Yeah, this is certainly unexpected, but it's it's definitely well uh, well earned by Heroic. Third map of this series is Dust Two, and that's actually been one of the go-to's for this roster. So it's interesting to look at a world where we could even get there. But I am speaking very early. Four and zero. Astralis taking their time on this T side. Yet to get around though. Dupree really looking for a kill in the boiler. We've got Astralis central, centered towards Banana with that bomb. But there's a triple B setup. Heroic are playing passive. And, and it's almost like they're welcoming Astralis, right? Three inside of B, but no one fighting Banana it is such a bait. And the fact that Tessis gets a kill on A as well, Dupree getting overwhelmed by a Molotov, that's going to send Astralis into this setup. Heroic may look like they have two here, but they've got three already. The first loss, down peaks out wide. He gets a double bomb drop. There's the trade from Zipex. But do they know? Are they ready? Borup is here. He's had a flash assist in the kill feed. That's information that Astralis will surely use to their advantage. They're going to be ready for a man here and a Molotov will land forcing him into the open he's burning they're watching for it and Zipex fully blinded gets that kill what a hero you, to think that if Bora peaked early he probably would have won that round straight up now it's still on the cards now it's still up in the air Yugi in a clutch 
Oh, and he stuck the bomb. Nico rushes the smoke. Five on the board for Heroic, continuing to go flawless here in the CT half of play. And for Astralis, it's seeming to be these T sides where the uh, where the struggle lies again. And yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. You know, like when you think about it, I think in you know, a CT yeah. side, you can just have someone like you. You can spot. have the rest of the team just play in their spots, right? And uh, and the, the rotations kind of come very, very situationally. You're just kind of taking these paths between either site. Uh, T side, you know, that's where you're relying on things like these mid-round calls, these strategies that you fall back into that usually everyone's very comfortable in. You know, everyone kind of understands what's going on. And I imagine with Yugi being brought into the squad on such short notice, you know, for this event, that that is where things get a little bit tricky yeah. for Astralis. And, and that's the thing you can say, like, yeah, Zonic can, Zonic can help, Zonic can assist, he can, he can offer calls at times, and that's definitely true. But but the, the fact of the matter is, if you're not playing inside of the game, it, it can be hard to have the right feel. Uh, the, you know, even, even as an experienced coach like Zonic, I think it's definitely hard to have the same input than if you were Glaive and in the server and, and really feeling out how your opponents are playing. But regardless, you've got to make do with what you've got. And Astralis still have a map to their name in this series. They're looking for just a round in this one. Another fast uh, pace one towards the A site. It's Nico inside the pit hiding. Tessa is overwhelmed. Nico's still here and they haven't cleared it out, but they should be ready for a second man. Short side, Yugi's jumped on his head. And Kadian is now cordoned out of the site by the utility. This is more like Astralis in this round and Device is even pushing smokes just to make matters worse for Heroic. They might just need to save. Cadian's got low money on this AWP and even hanging around is a bit of a risk. He's going to run. Zipnix is hunting though. Oh dear. Zipnix is hunting. Luckily, he's not going to peek alt mid. If he went bedroom, that would have been two kills for Zip. Instead, it's likely Heroic getting away with a couple of guns, but most importantly, Astralis getting away with a round. I think like an analogy for Yugi in this team right now is almost like how you know, for some people, they'll only go to like one barber for ages because yeah. they just grow to trust that hairdresser. Sure. You know, he knows my hair. I know he can cut hair. And it's like, you know, all other barbers, mate, they can also cut hair. They're just as good, perhaps, maybe even better. But, you know, you just trust your one guy because he knows your hair in particular. Who's, really who's well. the barber in this analogy? You know, you... Glaive, Glaive's like the barber. <laughs> They've no, I don't even Glaive. know, man. Like, <laughs> hang on. It's gotten a bit confusing because now you've asked me who the barber is. I don't know, man. It was just like a metaphor. Uh, and that's maybe... No, it's like Astralis or... I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I they beat you the big bucks, it out as I said it. Look, everyone oh. kind of knows what I mean. And sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. In this round, Cadian tries to go aggressive down through mid and find some damage onto Zipex. But... Uh, it's going to be Banana where Astralis look to end up right now. They've got a lot of players here. You know, we've been talking about Barbers. Let's see if Magisk is in the haircutting business as well. He's got his AK over towards the top of B, and he's looking to get very close to those scalps indeed. Yeah, Astralis with a five-man execute here. They're going in, and they're going in quick. Sounds good a spot. Um, he hasn't seen the bomb, but he's got enough info that it looks like a commitment. Borup is hiding inside of the pit, and he's going to mow them down a little off the side and a little more off the top. It's going to be a chop here for Heroic as they mow down Astralis. Low HP for the remaining players. Now it's all on zip. He can't do anything. What a spray down from Stown and Heroic only losing a single man. That was Borup in the pit after he found multiple kills. So... Definitely worth its weight in gold. Heroic instantly reset Astralis with a behold. That wasn't even a triple setup either, right? You know, we, we've seen that that stack towards B for Heroic in, in early rifle rounds, but here, just two members with SMGs and they shut it down. So big round for Heroic. Astralis and Money once again getting drawn back to nothing. And it's all on this round. Device with the Orb, Yuki with the Deagle, and a bunch of AKs hitting the round. Yeah, the bulk of Astralis are working top mid right now. This bomb actually is joining them as well later on. Magisk is left to hold on to Banana, left to his own devices, while the rest of Astralis try to secure this top mid control. And while well, try really is the operative word, Dupree runs out Ooh. first and gets gunned down shortly thereafter. Astralis' play is just grinded to a halt. It is just... Uh, 
Yeah, the momentum that they had is gone. They've lost the man early. They've not been able to recuperate it. Device hanging around in boiler, and he's going to be the only man left at A for Astralis. They go back towards Banana. The bomb actually comes back to rejoin. That's Yugi lining up a smoke. That's going to get thrown over long side, and maybe that gives them a way to get out into the top a bit. Now, while all this is going on, two players for Astralis are at Banana, and they're making noise. They gave a couple of jumps there. And I figured they were going to be lining up utility, but they actually don't have much to work with. They decide to hold on to what they've got, because ultimately it does matter if they make it or not. They'll try and get into this A-bomb site. Nico down in the pit. Also as Tess says here, it's a double setup in pit for Heroic. Boroff in the bomb site has done enough anyway. And this round is over. It's Heroic with this A-side stack that comes in clutch. Seven on the board now to the one of Astralis. Yeah, Stam's not even really needed there as the fourth player, right? He has the rotation, it's the right call, it's the right move, but it's his team that just mow Astralis down. And I feel like something that Astralis is struggling with in this T side, it was apparent back on train, it's these opening kills, right? We're not seeing any coming through for Astralis. Dupree, he runs mid, he dies, and Heroic somehow get a Molotov down in between that kill. I, I feel like Astralis need to definitely be trading frags like that. Like, if you've got someone playing heroically and going out through Boiler, you need to have someone trading that, because Right now, Astralis are just giving these advantages to Heroic in every round and letting them settle back in five on fours. Right there was a great example. And Heroic are able to just stack wherever Astralis go. And Astralis just have to make do with four. So yeah, it's been a real problem. Two opening kills in this entire map so far across eight rounds. So certainly doesn't bode well right now. Let's see if there will be a resurgence. And if so, it probably won't be in this round because once again, Astralis are on the by eco, by eco train and boy, this is one that is full of stops, not the places that you want to get off at. Device can oh. I was going to say a timing and maybe a kill from it. Now, while Device doesn't put up a frag, Yugi will. And Borup is very, very low, but he still somehow holds the line down. Four points of health, by the way. Even trades the AWP out with Kadian, and now finds himself with the big green gun in hand. Borup's really looking to get stuck in. He's got four HP, and he's leading the charge. He finally gets dealt with, but it's only Dupree left. And while the rest of the round falls apart for Astralis shortly thereafter, it's 8-1 for Heroic, continuing to build up this DT leaderboard. There is going to be money available to Astralis in this coming round at the very, very least. I mean, you know, how can you expect an upcoming Danish team to take down the titans of Heroic, though? That's just really not fair, Harry. You know, I think we're putting a lot of... No, jokes aside, like, this is uh, this is really impressive from Heroic, and I think they should be very happy with what they got, but also, you don't want to get ahead of yourself. It's 8-1. You know, Astralis have these comebacks so often here in Counter-Strike in 2020. We've seen teams go on massive leads similar to this and then still lose the map. That is a common occurrence, albeit maybe even more common than winning it after being this dominantly up. Like, you don't see 16-5s anymore, so... Especially not for Astralis, at least not on the receiving end, right? So, we're expecting a bit of a, a comeback, a bit of a resurgence, and that could be it from Dupree. Two kills, he lines him up in the apartments, it's a mow down, a mop up, and he's not gonna commit. It's down on Banana, shuts down Device, that's a solo player there. The rest of Astralis hitting A, and luckily, there is only Tessas left here, in the pit, on his own. Astralis, they have one man to get past. Not able to be enough of a nuisance down in the pit, and Borup has been mollied out from library. Sound wrapping up short side, and a Molotov also tries to cut him off, but he responds to it with aggression. He goes through and tries to close the distance over here at short side. He will get taken care of shortly thereafter, and for Borup, probably just going to be a save here. Now, even though Heroic are 8 1 up, they're not at a point where they can really afford to go for rounds like this. The money's still in a semi vulnerable spot. So, yeah, for Borup, he's looking to try and maximize his damage at the very, very least. Hang around, see if you can catch these Astralis players as they're leaving the site. It is going to be a second on the board for Astralis. They also have the option to save Pit. Hello, Borup. Borup's going to try and go for the yeah. Doja spray oh, down, maybe. No, no instead. Grabs an AK, gets out of there, and stays alive. That's fiscal responsibility. It's never fun, but it is fundamental.
Wow, you really put the fun back in Fundamental, Harry. That is that is great to see. Dupree, though, he puts three back in Dupree because that is a, an annoying spray down to be on the receiving end of. Hero can just get mowed down in apartments and Astralis win the round off the back of it. And that's a key of Inferno, right? If you get if you ever get two kills anywhere in the map as a T, you know, that quickly, you almost always win the round as long as your team are behind you because if you just push and plant, you know there's going to be a max of one player left up. Tess says he puts up a kill, he gets traded, boom. Boom, that's a round done. Heroic always are going to struggle with retakes into you know, sites where you have a disadvantage. So it's a classic Inferno round there for Astralis. They're looking for a hell of a lot more because two certainly isn't going to be enough in this first half. Molotov on sound will leave him dead, but the flash is good and Device is actually going to get taken down. It's a repeat off the back of Bomb's flash and lots of assistance here. Heroic have great utility and they've completely blown Astralis out of banana. Four players here and nowhere to run, nowhere to hide for Astralis. They've got to elevate the pace towards A. They know the Heroic had a bit of a stack on that side of the map, so they've got to kill the man in the pit. Oh, this time they're not able to do that. Dupree helped out by gravity, meets an unfortunate end. Yugi now all alone, and while he does dispatch them out of the pit, there are a lot of guys on the other side. Even like, oh, there we go. Yeah, bomb plant denied. Off it. And he also, yeah, did stop planting the bomb. I think if he'd stuck it there, he would still would have died, but would have yeah. been a bomb plant at least for Astralis. Luckily, money isn't a problem, right? They've still got absolute tons of cash here on the T side. So lost bonus, uh, it does treat you nicely as a T, but Astralis aren't used to being surrounded by lost bonus in every direction. 9-2. And another raw pop for device at the bare minimum down averaging 19 damage around with utility we've had some good grenades down banana we had some nice mollies from heroic really keeping astralis out of that area of the map so as, as long as that can continue then well this scoreline can continue we saw four on b for heroic last round at least off of spawn they were very much uh, set up for a b take for astralis and they denied any possibility of that with a five on three immediately going their way so not going to do it again. That's the thing. You can't do that every round, right? You can't run triple quad B because if, if your opponents read it, they're going to speed it up towards A and they're going to beat you to the site. So that's always the danger. Well, speaking of speeding things up, Tess says he's got his running shoes on and he's run himself into the ground as Dupree finding him up in the apartments. An attempted aggression doesn't work out for Heroic. And now they sit in a four on five out of the gate. They respond to this with a very, very preemptive, very, very fast B rotation to put three players here. Now this does leave Kadian alone at A, but it's not going to present a problem yet to Heroic. Astralis are grouping up for a B play and Stown oh, waiting at no. Stoutbags. He's gone unchecked and no. he's waiting. He's biding his time. The longer he stays here, the more effective it is. And Stown can take it all away right now. Second time is the charm for Stown. Oh no, and Borup. Borup actually nades him from the round. Borup gets a little jealous, I think, as he brings Stown back down to earth. A rotation in from Astralis. This does send them back the way of Kadian, but he is here to hold this A site all alone. A lot of weight on Kadian's shoulders now. They're wrapping up through short, they're wrapping long, and Dupree what? missed shots onto Kadian, drops the molly, tries to stick around, and is somehow still alive. He's gonna fall back. He's gonna fight this one in the 3v2 with the rest of Heroic. Yeah, big play for Kadian to stay alive here. Just his presence in the apartments is such a distraction, such a thorn in the side of Astralis. They can't look elsewhere. They've gotta remain aware of their back. To pick some magics in the clutch. The hit. Quick shot, not connected, does some damage. But Magis is low, he can't hang around here forever, but he does get the kill. Not punished for that headshot angle, it does work in his favor, leaving things in a two on two. Magis drops the orb, and now it is just on Nico's. It won't give him a thing. And Magis peeking off the back of it with a flash to follow. He's going to find all three. Great round from Magis, coming alive and not even needing the AWP, I guess. It's going to be a round for Astralis after all. And what a big rotation. That That's, I mean, you know, we don't like blaming players, Harry. We don't like calling people out. But Borat, man, that grenade, I think it lost in the round. Without it, Stan, Stan, he might have had a third kill. He might have had Zipex there, who was tagged up. And if he got that kill, it would have been an entirely different round. But instead, he gets naded out. And Astralis make a really good decision to back off into A. 
much faster approach this time. They're finally looking to try and take advantage of this understaffed, underwhelming A bomb site. Cadian close oh. to the door. Oh, no, the no scope misses, as is just sometimes the way. Nico up here on the balcony, a lot to do and not much to get it done with. Story of my life. Kessez down through short. Now leaves it all on Stown and a 1v4. Gonna try and hold on to the orb. He'll get away. Or will he? I mean, you know, maybe not. He'll try. He'll try and get away. <laughs> will Look all mates them. down. They are hounding him. They are after him. This is a, a very good call for Astralis. They, know they have him trapped and with Banana cut off, he can't leave. He's only got to tag off that shot. He's going to have to beat the Molotov. Oh, he gets a shot off though. Zipex is dead. Now it's down to the CT players. It's down. He's had a great game right now, but the flash could certainly create, a, uh, create problems. And it's actually a smoke instead. You can shoot him right through it from spawn. And that's going to be a round for Astralis. Dear, oh dear. They are coming alive. They are warming up in this T side and they've finally broken the money. That's why Stown was so keen to save the AWP and that's why Astralis was so keen to not let it happen. Now they know Heroic don't have a thing in this round. At best, they can expect a force, but why do that when you have the lead here for Heroic? Eco for the last, play for that victory, play for double digits that is still attainable in that 15th round. But this one, well, this is, uh, this is Astralis round written all over it. Yugi here, saving the day. Checked him. Saving Ooh. the day. Don't worry. Yugi and Dupree, they've got it under control. Everything's fine. No one's even worried. Astralis, five on the board. Quite the turnaround. There is going to be an investment coming in for Heroic. I feel like this game is like a really good case study on, on this new economy and how it can kind of influence the gameplay. New economy, economy right? you say? I say new, it like, you know, it, it is old. new in comparison to what the old economy yeah, sure. used to be. Sure. Like only within the context of this conversation, but it's cool. If you want to call me out, that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, Borup going to go ahead and nade down Banana. Doesn't find any damage on the back of it. Actually, he really does. What am I talking about? Device is brought down very, very oh, low. Oh, what? No <laughs> okay, and good. Dupree in a bit of an awkward spot. It's full flashed in middle. Cadian's on meme patrol. Indeed he is. P90 fans around the world rejoicing right now. A famous as well. It's, uh, it's just a day away from the meta. We've taken a bit of a holiday here. It's the famous doing damage. Immediately getting put to a close. Here comes the rotation and Cadian... Welcome back, ladies and gents. It is, of course, Astralis and Heroic here at DreamHack Masters. Uh, boy, oh boy, this one's heating up. Heroic in the lead. Those Betway odds may have not been favorable at the start of this map, but they have certainly showed up on the CT side. Ten rounds to their name, moving into the second half. If they win this pistol, Astralis might uh, just get blown out of the water. If it goes the other way, then the comeback can come in. It's a fast B play, though. Heroic don't want to wait us wondering, wait us leaving, or leave us waiting, rather, as they run into the bomb site. Yeah, quick little stumble here and there, and Heroic, they are all low. These nades have found a lot of damage. They're closing the gap, but they're still more Astralis players here. Every time they kill one, there's even more. Zipnik's hiding in the smoke. It's chaos, and oh, he's going to go ahead and take down another 2v2 now. And Nico, with one point of health, one itty-bitty little point of health to his name, he's trapped over in dark. He is stuck at the back of this bomb site. This leaves a lot of the pressure of this round on a man like Borup. Now, this bomb is under Astralis control, but look at Borup, right? Like, no one's saying anything because it's a very long avant-garde play, but he's going on this big flank in through t spawn. Oh, now, they do find Nico. We kind of expected it. We kind of knew it was going to happen because we put all our hopes and dreams into this man right here. Let's see if he can deliver. He's come in through this CT oh, wrap. No, he's, he's dead. taken the long way around, but ultimately, it is all for nothing we put all our hopes and dreams on his shoulders and he got crushed under the weight so yeah ultimately not the ending that they were hoping for astralis six on the board as the pistol round does indeed go their way yeah and i mean they were reading that right they were ready for it stacked inside of that b bomb site and you know one step ahead of the arrival of heroic We'll be holding off for a moment as we've lost our feed and we're hoping to get that back under control so we can actually see what's going on no worry, Hugo. We got a, a little, a little part of my fault like for this. not logging into the Go TV like I said I was going to. But you know, sometimes things. We got the uh, we got the kill feed at like a bare minimum. So you know, right now I, of course, 
maybe everyone else can see what's going on. So there's one of the problems. I hear sound. We have the vision back. There we go. All. What do you know? We don't even need the uh, the scorebot for this. It's going to be uh, just the loadout for Ooh. Astralis. We didn't miss much, to be fair. Like, if there ever was a round for us to not catch all the action on, it's probably this one. And we still caught most of the action. Even so, then. So, luckily enough, it's all back, in, uh, back on order. Astralis in control, and this is where you've got to be a little bit worried if you're heroic, right? At least I would be, knowing that Astralis now are not only the favored half, but the momentum with that pistol and Antico in their favor. Heroic are going to have to grind their way to a victory here. Pistol's out for the short term, though, so not going to be one that Heroic are at least favored or expected to take. The device doesn't want to let them do it either. He's pushed all the way down. I only just noticed that's the device's fourth kill in this map. He's having a bit of a slow one. And considering how good he was on train, that's, that's quite a change, right? He almost 30 bombed that map. So, you know, device maybe warming up into the second half could be a big difference maker here for Astralis. Gets a kill in this round, is traded by Tessa Sadiq, or pistol rather, puts uh, a weapon in his hands, but I mean, unarmored and low HP, Hiroka walking into a meat grinder. Yeah, and there's a reason they call it that. Kind of does what it says on the tin, doesn't it? They all get ground up on the top mid push. Katie, and he's just hanging out with a couple of buddies back here. Oh, it's stuck, man. Katie, whoa, that's disgusting, oh, bro. You can't like work up a bond with it first. And then what does that say about Katie? And let's really character analysis <laughs> slash character assassination of a man like Katie. And he befriends the animal. He befriends the chicken and then kills it in cold blood. So, you know, if you're a guy like Tess says, I'm just saying, watch your back. That's all I'm saying. So eight on the board now for Astralis. Heroic finally in with a rifle buy. Yeah, what can they do with it though? Can they find their first round of the board early or will it be Astralis really streaking together some CT rounds? Yugi's having a, a great game here considering he was the one struggling on train, right? Nine kills, uh, nine, ten kills at the end of that. And uh, well, now he's a man to look out for here for Astralis. Top of the server, in fact. So quite the turnaround quite the pivot and to good effect on that t side now heroic they're setting up in the apartments the bomb is still bottom b though so could go anywhere really as often is the nature of inferno fast rotations available on the t side if uh, if you get info if you sit close b you hear one too many few footsteps you can call that rotate pretty quickly so Heroica waiting around in alt mid right now. A couple moving up banana for an execute. It's looking like a bit of a fake though. Device, which side does he decide to stick with? A molly in middle. Grenade going to go through. Doesn't do too much. This bomb's getting picked up. It's a fake on beast. Down alone there now. And all oh, Heroica going back to it. There we go. That four man A setup is going to get pulled apart. And Astralis with only two inside of this site have got to put a stop to it. Smoke going down at the 30 second mark is going to buy them even more time. And now Heroic will be silent, which makes it even more obvious with the vice who does decide to rotate. And this is a great call for Astralis. This molly on Zipex is huge as well. It buys even more time because Heroic have had to wait for this molly to go out. And now they try and push him with it. An array of smokes, an array of flashes going to come on through on the back. Yugi up here on the boost spot does get blinded. Device fares no better. And goodbye, B. Goodbye, B site hold. Everyone falls in a matter of moments. Wow. Bomb plant found heroic. They take this B site by storm. They don't even lose a man. Yeah, that was a weird one, right? Yugi gets flashed off and, and has to drop off the boost, but if only he knew that no one was looking at him, right? After he was there, two players walked past and he just kind of runs into the pool to trade device where he gets the same fate. I don't even see how Zipex falls, but it was a quick affair. And I mean, despite Yugi having a great game, both device and Zipex, four and five kills respectively, having them on your B bomb side right now, it is, it is a bit of a liability. Astralis aren't winning the fights that we expect them to win. And Heroic are going to abuse that in their first rifle round to good effect. So 11 taken, that third early rotate device, from long side did not work out. And five alive for Heroic is exactly what they need to keep the money in the favor as well. No resets coming through for Astralis. They are going to look to buy back in. And here's what they got with it. Full rifles, just taking an SMG to allow utility, but device does still have that orb. 
Yeah, it's it's a weird one that it's Apex and Device struggling yeah. so much right now. Um, I don't even really know what to make of that, right? Like, Device, okay, hasn't really had the AWP at all. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. You know, maybe now that he's bringing out on the CT side, we really looked for him to be that much more present. So, you know, I think for me, this could be the turning point. This could be where he gets his head back in the game. That's the thing, right? Even if you think back to the road to Rio that just very, very recently came to an end. Device started that looking pretty slow. Wow. And then he warmed up into the swing of things and became a real talking point for Astralis. Well, what's what do you right know? Now? What do you know, Hugo? It's almost like Device, he started slow and now he's become a real talking point for Astralis again. Two kills in this round and Device, another one. He goes from four to seven at the end of play in this round and a chance maybe even another he's aggressing into the top yes. of mid and device welcome to the server long have we awaited you long have we missed you my friend a stellar round from him on that orb he lays heroic to bed he just has enough of it harry not only these flicks which are great shots but he pushes banana and kills the bomb here how what why on his own if he dies there, the B-side gets lost and the round likely follows. But then, not only after dropping the bomb, he even pushes mid to kill the last. Great aggression, good confidence, and Device not letting a bad first half impact his long-term performance. So, Stratus back in the swing of things, and Device, dear, oh dear, he's only just starting to come alive now, and that can't be a good sight for Heroic. They're gonna lose Boropurn early, rather. He doesn't even get to play into this round. So, Heroic move through the B-smoke. They also take apartments very loud as they wanna fake out this A-bomb site it's just going to be a full execute to avoid device right now inside of b device's short side he'll be a late rotate away from a and he's getting pressure with utility anyway that's going to keep three players on this site it's down to yugi and zipex to hold down b oh yugi forced off the angle but this is where zipex is molly and also the spray from this m4 have done a bit of damage lent a bit of a hand to astralis this rotation of Nico with the bomb is a long way away, and Cadian's trying to gimmick his way through the CT smoke, decides against it, and that is definitely a safe play from Cadian. Because if he went through that CT smoke, I don't know how to yeah. tell you this, but Magisk was on the other side. And it, well, in the server, him and Cadian, not good friends. Outside, probably. Device, holding top mid. Get pressured. Does remove the first man. That's Cadian biting the dust now. Still two players here at this A side of the map for Astralis outside of Device as well. So these problems, you know, only just the tip of the iceberg for Heroic. Go as much deeper than that. And they're going to be backing on out. They're going to be saving Hugo. I don't want to see this yeah. round through to its conclusion. I kind of saw that one coming after they left B, right? Because I'm just thinking, like, even if you're going to rotate, you know, what makes you think you're going to do any better on A when, you know, Astralis are already ready for that rotation and, yeah, have the AWP there. So an even harder sight to hit. Device makes it so with two in the round. And, well, two out of the three kills that Astralis even need to force a save of Heroic and following a tactical pause. That's the first pause Heroic have used in this server, or at least in this map. And it's right when Astralis have pulled the comeback and made things happen. Borup again with great flash assists. Common occurrence. He was actually popping them over at B on the CT side, throwing them over the car to set Stown up a lot of the time. Here on the T side, you're going to have an even more appropriate field day to do the same thing. Now, Astralis, they're looking to 2-0 this series, Harry, and it might just happen. A comeback in the first map from Heroic, come back in the second from these Danes. They're only sitting one round behind. That round in the way of them is two MAC-10s and three AKs. So Astralis, a good position to beat. Oh, most definitely. And, oh, Device. Oh, where is he been? Oh, first oh, half, he was right. absent. And now, coming alive, boy, do you feel his presence in this server. But look at Borup, speaking of presence, this guy, has got a lot of ground at long. Device is going to put him back in the earth of which he runs on. And now Dupree looking at short side. Testes has snuck past already, and Dupree is not aware of that. So he ends up getting blindsided. Device now alone in the site. This has gone from looking great to very worrisome. Device up close and helped out by Zipex. This round might be saved after all. Cadian 
trying to make a big old play, a big boy play here in the 1v3. Damage onto Zipex, not quite the kill, and backing up. Who into? Device. Device. Three kills in that round there as he continues this tear in the second half of play. Coming into it, he had four kills. Now he sits on 13, and he's almost at this point where he could start to look to top the charts for Astralis, going from being the guy last on the leaderboard to first in just a matter of rounds if yeah. he keeps on this trajectory. It really hasn't been that long. It's been like four rounds, Harry, since he was bottom of the server. So yeah, Device. Back in full form, back in full force. Heroic holding Deegs, holding Tech Nines. This isn't a pretty buy for them, but it might be a good buy if Astralis have their way. Looking for a 12th in this one. But early rotates back off of B, right? Lots of utility, lots of grenades down Banana, and Astralis with a three man setup will take control. Zipex is now left here to spot. He has plenty of grenades to drop a smoke if he sees Heroic rush him. And that does seem to be a, the game plan in this round here. Heroic just defaulting. They give away Banana early. And I feel like, you know, you, you're coming in playing un, uh, as an underdog, playing Astralis. Your, your go-to when Astralis have rifle rounds is, yeah, just give up Banana early. We'll retake it later because you know their utility is going to be incredible. The best, in fact. So... Let them throw their grenades, let them waste their money, and then go back to take this position later in the round. Yeah, the problem with Astralis, though, is that they're pretty frugal. You know, they don't want to risk throwing out too many names <laughs> if they're not going to get good value yeah. out of them. And Zipnex, Zipex, the accountant of this team, he's run the numbers and he said, this nade, that's worth it. $300, I bring a bunch of players low, and now they commit to the B play, Zipex. Good for a couple before he gets dealt with. And now Magisk arriving on rotation. The rest nice. of the squad falling in line behind. And Magisk decides, yeah, I'm not in the business of waiting around. I'm just going to push this one. I'm going to get it done. And well, he certainly might have Barup. This guy's surviving. Not able to close it out, you'd imagine. Astralis looking to add a 12 to the board. Yeah, you want to know the fun fact, Harry, that my, my Counter-Strike has an update. And so in order to replace the program for you with the GoTV, I have to update it. So we're waiting on that right now uh, as we no longer see program feed at the moment. This is day one, of course, of DreamHack Masters Spring. So some technical issues I imagine will appear, but past this point, we will not let them happen. I mean, at this point, it's on me. And that's why I'm stalling out this, uh, this update as long as I can. As far as I'm aware, the features should still be going out to stream, though. So at least the game will continue, just maybe not the comment. Yeah, you guys actually know more than us. So Twitch chat, it's kind of on you. What's happening? Cast Talk me through it. You know, like, how how is it looking in the server right now? I want to know all the details. Uh, this, uh, Hugo, do you want to run us up to speed? Do you want to catch us up with what's been happening in the server? Because I don't know about you. I've forgotten entirely. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can give you a little go. Heroic, they went on 10 5 CT half. This is a bit of a, bit of a slow T side for them with only one round. And Astralis have really warmed up into things with five in a row. Device went from bottom of the board to top, or not top, but pretty high up, at least, in just five rounds' time. And he's had a real recovery off this AWP. A risky move by Zipex with the smoke he gets punished. Yugi is still here as well, grabbing the AK and getting out of there alive. Majesty's come for support off of a rotation that will keep two inside of B, but that might tempt Heroic out, if anything. Now they know that uh, A, a site has the same fate, and so that they can go really anywhere they want. Look for aggression, spamming apps. Warp is checking off mid with that, and Heroic are making sure that Astralis aren't getting too confident, aren't getting too comfortable. This could be Heroic's second round found on the T side as they group up towards middle with a bomb. Stalin tries to sell the b fake on his own, but he will be coming back to join the troops. Oh dear, Heroic set up in the top of mid and in a very, very big way as well. Everyone here for the Heroic squad. And if you want to look at someone who has to deliver some Heroics, well, for that, we're going to be looking at Mr. Dupree. Now, I hope everyone has thanked Mr. Dupree today, because if they haven't, he might not have the energy to have this big play from Graveyard that he so desperately needs. So let's see. Has everyone showing him enough gratitude? Dupree dodging the shot of the AWP, and he does manage to deal with Tessa. Now sprinting through the long smoke is going to be the other three for Heroic. They deal with the man inside of the site. And a bomb plot now found. Three on four in the retake. Do Astralis want to give this one a go? What a shot. Device knocks Borup out of the round, jumping across. And now, now the retake's on. 
kits available. Molotov in the site pushes Stout to the back. And Magis is going to flash that fight. He goes above and he will go down. Stout taking some damage. Nico the same, but Kadian's already killed Yugi on the corner, putting Device in a clutch that he will not attempt. A one on three. And if only he knew how low all, all of these players were. All a one shot from that Deagle in the chest. Vice will miss out on that opportunity, but he will save the AWP. Luckily, Astralis had money anyway, so he definitely could have gone for that one, but he makes the right call. He makes the safe call, and he gives Heroic 12. It's a big uh, round for Heroic, who have only found two in this T side. Astralis are looking for a quick reset here in the follow-up as well. They don't want Heroic to start to streak back into this game as Astralis look to come alive as well. And we're all tied up once again. We're actually not. <laughs> I can't read. That is a problem. We're around oh. now. We are almost all tied up. Heroic just won away from doing exactly what I said. And that there is called planning for the future. But maybe that's not a future that we're going to be a part of. And Vice does get Ooh. the first kill. Dupree. Surfs his way down on the back of his shiny M4 and now has this position down in the pit. Now for Heroic, they've lost a man early on. This might send their game plan out of the window here. Beginning around 26 and already having to mix things up. They're going to try and get into alt mid. They're going to try and take the apartments. Now Banana is completely open during all of this time. And with no one floating around to keep an eye on it, I feel like this kind of has to be an A play for Heroic. You know, usually if you are thinking about going back, you want to be holding on to this banana control. You want to be denying this aggression down throughout B. And so the fact that they've discounted it entirely, this has almost got to be an app drop here from Heroic. They are committed. They are going for it. And Tessa is down in the pit. The first man in. What? And also the first to fall, but maybe the first of many is one by one Heroic. They get churned up and this might be a flawless round for Astralis. How the hell did Dupree get two kills there? He was full flash. That grenade will kill him. But he was full white as they came at apps. He hides in the pit. He doesn't even take a blind shot. And then he just swings off of the pit and gets two frags. Massive effort from Dupree in that position. And he's going to save Astralis as Heroic go for that uh, apps execute. 14-12 now. Money for Heroic is brought into question, but they've got to buy. They've got to put everything into this. They want to stop this map and match point happening here for Astralis as they sit just two rounds away from taking a 2-0 victory. And to think that you know, heroic. They they had so much control in this map as well. But even in the series, pulling back the previous one is such a competitive affair. But it all might come to a close here. It all might be in vain for heroic. Beggars can indeed not be choosers. And right now, heroic are begging Astralis to stop. But will they find any respite from Astralis? That's the question. Ooh. Device pushing down a lip of banana. Does have Yugi in tow if needed. Nice. And with Kadian already holding the angle, that is nothing more than a mad advantage for Heroic. Still two players here at B, and that smoke from Heroic is going to do a good job of maintaining that for Astralis. Magisk is even... Looking like he wants to try and play this arc, but actually goes past it. Ooh. Swings on out. Borup able to find him. And this A site once again falls to Dupree. A lot to ask of this man. And he's not able to answer the call. The bomb will go down. It will be a save for Astralis on Zipex and Yugi. And so 13 rounds now on the board for Heroic. Yeah, Astralis craving information in that round, right? They've done that a couple of times uh, in this in this CT side. One just two rounds ago where Zipex pushes through a car molly and gets picked up. Or Device, he he wants a fight and he peers past the logs with no flashbang and Kadian just takes him down with the AWP on top of it. So Heroic very ready for that CT aggression that Astralis try and bestow upon them. Does put Heroic in 13. Of course, we already said Astralis have so much money for the short term, things aren't a problem. So they can afford to save these two guns and buy up in the next round. They will have everything they need and more. But Heroic, they that's a lifeline. That's a saving grace. They had an SMG in this round. They were up against 14 and they get out with five alive. Now Heroic will be able to continue to buy it until round 30. Terrorists win. 
one bonus is certainly nice as well. So Astralis get away with these guns. The orb hopefully comes back in for device. Where does it go? Does it want to continue to take B picks? Because the only weakness in this CT side, the only problem for Astralis has been rounds where they lose B or they lose a pick early up B. Every other round they do well. Even rounds where they play passive B and they don't give Heroic that kill. When they give Heroic that kill, Heroic seem to be able to convert the five and four with a very slow mid round. And, and that's a nice play, right? They split Astralis 2-2 two, two, and they just execute into the four one two. The game plan here. Deep smoke for Astralis. They don't want to lose players in Banana once again. Device has the orb on one side, Molly's in middle, and Astralis will rotate Magis back early, who threw utility down B. He's left with only a flashbang, but often found in the pit supporting. That's not really the end of the world. This time he plays bait switch with Device on long. Rook going back towards a late B take right now, as they often have been, considering how good this Banana utility is for Astralis. Rook will be able to move up with no fight from the CT side. Ooh, bit of an exchange, and Borup is going to come out ahead. Does take a man down through the smoke. Now, Heroic, they've been good in these man advantage scenarios. They've usually been able to find success on the back of them. And so in this round now, they go back towards B. Two players here, it's Yugi and Zipex. And Zipex is going to get boosted on up for this CT position. Now the utility comes in, but the timing on this boost is great. Wow. Zipex immediately reaps the reward, puts it back in the advantage of Astralis. Very well timed from him and Yugi at the B site of play. And now for Astralis, you know, you're four on three, you've got utility. And Zipex what? is still finding kills through the smoke. Oh. Hello. He does try and go in. Device trades onto Cadian, and this is going to leave Tessas in a 1v3. He's trapped in pool, looking for a way out, and he thinks he might find it here at the coffins. There's only one man here to swing wide, and Yugi has that kill dead to rights. It's match, and now series point here, lying with Astralis, 15 to 13. But only two away, heroic overtime. Not inconceivable at this point. Yeah, what a boost up from Yugi as well. Puts Zipex above and he just mows down two players as they come in. He even kills a third through the smoke and continues to push. He does die to Cadian, but, but that kill just leaves Cadian in the open and Device trades it immediately. Astralis, a perfect retake. Everything going to plan and 15-13, just one round and two chances to get it. Rogue have buys, or at least one here. Without a bomb plant, they'll be left lacking for what could be round number 30. I mean, sorry, if they lose here, they die, rather. They, they, they lose a the series, rather. But uh, they don't take a clean round, is what I meant. Then they could be lacking for the last. Right now, though, they're just thinking about round. Forget the cle uh, cleanness of it. Tessa's opening up in mid. It's going to be a quick drop off of apartments for Device, but Magist still sits here, and he'll need to, because Nico's coming in from that position. Heroic up on long with two. They've smoked off Deep Arch. They're fighting for CT right now. Yugi's trying to cover that with Zipex, and he'll rotate back towards B as Zip takes these fights. He's dropped one. The trade is in. Yugi might need to reconsider, but instead, the bomb's left A, and that might get hurt, might have been heard. Device is pushed short. He hears the footsteps. He knows they're running back, and Yugi has to be ready on the B bomb site. Ooh, they're gonna try and catch him and device plays it to perfection but now we look towards yugi now we look to the new boy on the block for astralis to try and hold this b site and he is not able to do so neither of his neither is device in rotation magis 1v3 to deny a 14th round to heroic and he's not even attempting it he wants to hold on to the orb with this at least they're gonna be able to bring one into the uh, the final round of play. And once again, similar to Train, we're at this point where it either goes to overtime or it ends here in round number 30. Now, Train, obviously, it did head into OT. We saw Astralis long it out and pick it up there. But they don't want the same thing to be happening here on their map pick of Inferno. Not when they were the team to reach match and series point first. This is heroic grinding back into the game, whereas Train was very much the other way around. And to think that, you know, despite it being this way in this half, the first half was the complete opposite. It was the inverse. It was Heroic get, taking a 10-5. So, you know, credit to Astralis for pulling this back. But now Heroic, they're the ones who have to get just one round to at least, you know, wipe the sweat off their brow and start the timer again, go into OT, where everything goes out the window. What's the buy? What's it looking like? Everyone 
seemingly armed well. We only have one kit for Astralis, but as is tradition, Inferno retakes rarely happen anyway. Higgins posted towards B. Again, Astralis throw that utility and Heroic want nothing to do with it. They've not lost anyone early B because they have not tried it, and for good reason. The Orb for Devices, once again on the site. We've got an early rotate from Magisk as well, who's throwing utility. He's still got a grenade from middle. That will do a bit of damage. Pretty good stuff. Heroic want to take top mid at a bare minimum, with Stown holding onto the banana. They have at least been given that much control. Magisk letting them get away with it, though. He's going to peek on the long corner and gets away with a big couple of kills. Magisk finding two. Going to flash his teammates up the short side as well, but he's actually been orbed on the repeat. Kadian gets control along, and now Astralis need to dedicate a player to that position. You can see Zipex coming off of B to try and support Spawn. Now, that does mean Yugi can't afford to die inside of the B site. He's playing very safe with his utility, and uh, needs to probably get some of that down, because Stown could contact play into this site. Zipex has now got to come back and watch his position, and that that means the vice is split up from Dupree on A, where the bomb is heading. Or not. Yeah, it's all a little bit unknown right now. It's very much hinging on the information that these guys are able to get. And they will try and hit B. Zipex playing in the pool. And there is a man on the other side of this smoke. Now three men, to be exact. And that might be too many men. Zipnik's going to try and hold the line. Yugi in the back of the site. This Molotov that Yugi still possesses could be huge in buying time here. And he's going to hopefully throw that in now. Follows up with a nade first. Zipnix with the spray down. And they get stopped in their tracks. The Molly comes Ooh. in. Kadian, does he manage anything here? He gets the first, runs on in.